Good morning. Welcome to Yoga with Sally. Uh, welcome here from a, a beautiful day in the Charente in southwest France. The sun is shining. It's a completely clear blue sky. It's meant to be 24 degrees today. Wonderful. It's going to be lovely. Um, so we're going to start off the day well with a yoga basic session. So this morning, <clears throat> oh my god, I've got Caroline saying help, I can't see you. Hang on Caroline, two seconds. Okay, so we're, I'll, I'll natter on for a little bit and then um, hang on a second. This class is starting really well. The phone is ringing. I'm just going to chuck it out of the room. Two seconds, guys. Sorry about this. Let's start again. Caroline, have you found me? Caroline, if you're there, give me a, a, a give me a sign that you're there. Okay. <laughs> I see that one person is watching, so maybe that's Caroline. Um, right. Sorry. After that start, we will um, just talk about what the the class is going to be this morning. So it's a yoga beginner class. So it's going to be a nice, gentle-ish uh, class. We're going to be working on core strength and flexibility. So remember that our core muscles are all of the muscles that connect to our spine and to our pelvis. These muscles are so, so important. Hi, Caroline, she's found us, yes. Um, these, are, these muscles are so, so important in everyday life. Um, for everyday tasks and for having good posture, for balance. Um, so we're gonna be working on strengthening those muscles uh, today, but also it's really important to have a good balance between strength and flexibility in your muscles. So we'll also be uh, working on the flexibility of our core muscles. So again, as always, we have my lovely mother Jenny joining us. We have a couple of animals in the room. Caffrey is here. We'll see how long she can stay here, whether she behaves or not. Gypsy is also waiting on my mat to do her yoga. Um, <laughs> we have the windows open this morning. You can't see it uh, behind the camera, but we have the windows open. We have all the fresh air from outside coming in, but it also means that Primrose, our other dog, is outside barking, so you might hear her a little bit during the session. Okay, so, as I say every time, if you have a mat, that's great. It doesn't have to be a yoga mat, it could be any type of exercise mat. If you don't have a mat, then improvise. Use a, a rug or a towel or, or, or something like that. Um, we're going to start off by sitting in a comfortable position. So you can either sit on the floor as I am doing or you can sit on a cushion as my mother is doing if you would like to raise up your hips slightly if you find it uncomfortable to sit directly on the floor. Okay, and we're just going to begin the session as we always begin by just taking some time to start to calm and focus our minds. So we're going to sit comfortably, sit with a straight back, your shoulders back, your chest push forward. Close our eyes and take some time just to sit and notice our breath. natural breath. Don't try to change your breathing pattern at this time. Just breathe naturally. Breathe normally and notice 
your breath. you have your windows open like we do, you can also notice the sounds of nature outside the window, the sound of the birds singing. Also, as always, take the time at the moment to just notice how you're feeling, notice your emotions, your state of mind, do so honestly, in a non-judgmental way, don't judge your emotions, just notice what emotions you're feeling this morning. Open the session by chanting the OM sound three times. Then I will chant our opening mantra, Sahana Bhavatu, which translates as may both student and teacher work together, may we work together with energy and vigor, may we both be connected, let there be no animosity between us. I will then end with Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, which means Om, please, 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 please feel free to join in with me at that stage. Okay, breathing in through your nose.
practice pranayama, breath controlled. So remaining with your eyes closed, sitting with a straight back, so that your abdomen is unrestricted. Breathe slowly and deeply, as slowly and deeply as you can, in and out through your nose. As you inhale, allow your abdomen, your tummy to really push out as your diaphragm contracts, pushes down, pushing your abdominal organs down and out. Let your chest expand, your intercostal muscles, the muscles in between your ribs, let them stretch, creating space in your chest for your lungs to expand, for you to take a full lung full of air. And then as you exhale, engage your abdominal muscles, your tummy muscles, Draw them in, your abdomen in, your belly button towards your spine. Really exaggerate that movement, draw your belly in as much as you can. Let your chest contract, try to exhale as completely as you can. if you can as well to breathe in an ujjayi way with ocean sound breath constricting the back of your throat as you inhale and exhale through your nose to create friction as the air passes over making the hissing sound the sound like the ocean helping to slow and control your breath and also helping you to focus on your breath to keep your body and your mind relaxed. Enjoy the sensation of breathing. Now we're going to take five deep breaths. I want you to count five deep breaths, as deep as you can. And in between those five breaths, I want you to hold your breath and count to five, slowly in your mind. So we're gonna do inhale as deeply as you can. Hold, count to five. And then exhale as completely as you can. Inhale again as deeply as you can. Count to five. We're going to do the 
this five times. finished your five deep breaths return to normal breathing your natural breath okay and this morning to finish pranayama we're going to do something which I haven't told my mother about <laughs> and she's going to love me for but it is a breath which I really like and it really helps to release tension which I think probably we could do with at the moment I don't know about anybody else but sometimes I just feel like shouting and screaming just to release some tension we're going to do lion's breath see if she remembers what that is she's looking away she's yeah 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 yeah, yeah. More. So we're going to come and kneel if we can. If it's possible for you to, to, to kneel, then come and kneel. <laughs> okay, you can be more up like this if you find that easier. Uh, cushion your knees if you find it uncomfortable to kneel on the floor. What we're going to do is, if you can, is just lean forwards and rest on your palms. If you can, turn your fingers so that they're facing backwards. It just gives your wrist a nice stretch at the same time. If you find that difficult, no worries. Just lean forward on your hand with your fingers facing forwards. What we're going to do is we're going to take an inhale and exhale we're going to stick our tongue out as much as we can. We're going to open our eyes as wide as we can and we're going to go. It really gives the facial muscles a nice stretch and helps to just release that tension, release your ego. Okay, so are we ready? We're going to inhale. And exhale. <laughs> okay, we're going to do 
that twice more. Really try to see if you can open your eyes as wide as you can. Really try to open your mouth as wide as you can. Really try to stick your tongue out as much as you can and try to exhale as forcefully as you can. Inhale. <laughs> okay, and one last time. <laughs> Okay then, right, let's come up to a standing position. And we're going to start off with a basic all over stretch before we then move on to uh, the asanas which are working on the strength and flexibility of our core muscles. So let's begin with our neck. Exhale and look down to the floor, tucking your chin to your chest. Inhale, look up to the ceiling, trying to bring your head back as far as you can. Exhale down to the floor. Inhale, look up. Okay, bringing your head back to centre, we're now going to turn our head from side to side, so we're going to inhale and exhale, turn our head to look over our right shoulder, trying to turn your head as much as you can, keeping your body facing forwards, inhale back to the centre, exhale to the left. Noting any areas of stiffness as we do this, inhale back to the front, exhale to the right, inhale front, exhale left, inhale front once more to each side, exhale right. Inhale front, exhale left. Inhale back to the front again. Now we're going to tilt our head from side to side. Trying to bring our ear down towards our shoulder. Inhale, exhale, tilt your head to the right. Keeping your shoulder down. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, centre once more to each side. Exhale, right. Inhale, centre. Exhale, left. Okay, and back to the centre again. Now we're going to roll our heads a couple of times in each direction, slow and controlled. Starting off by looking down to the floor, chucking your chin to your chest. Rolling your right ear around towards your right shoulder. Up to look at the ceiling. Left ear around to left shoulder and down to look at the floor again. Back the other way. And once more in each direction. Fab, 
fabulous. Now we're going to stretch our shoulders. I'm just going to step forward so me and my mum are not on the same line. We're going to make arm circles, reaching out as much as we can in each direction. Again, trying to move with the breath. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Really stretch as much as you can. Okay, and back the other way. Okay, give your arms a bit of a shake, a bit of a spin, a bit of a twirl, loosen off, bring your fingertips onto your shoulders, now we're going to make circles with our elbows, trying to make those circles as big as you can, trying to touch your elbows in the centre. And back the other way. Good, brilliant. And a bit of a shake out again. Okay, now bring your arms out in front of you about shoulder level, palms facing down to the floor. Flexing our wrists, bringing our hands down and then up. Okay, now making a fist as tight as you can. Opening your fingers as wide as you can. Close, open, close, open, close, open, close, and open. Now close, and we're going to make circles with our fists. Both fists going in the same direction. Concentrate, it's not easy. And back the other way. And give your hands a real good shake. Give your arms a shake. And now we're going to practice swaying palm tree pose. So interlock your fingers like this. And we're going to stand with our feet about hip distance apart and push our palms up to the ceiling so we're trying to bring our arms straight trying to bring your arms so that they touch your ears really reaching up tall look up towards the ceiling and now we're going to exhale and lean to the right trying to keep your arms straight trying to keep your arms so that they touch your ears and then inhale center reach right up exhale left Again, try to keep those arms straight, try to keep them touching your ears, look up to the ceiling, inhale, come straight, reach right up, we're going to go once more to each side, exhale right, inhale centre, reach right up, exhale left. Inhale, centre, reach up tall as high as you can, and then exhale, your arms down, very good, give them a bit of a shake. Uh, 
Okay, now hip rotations, bringing your feet about two feet apart, toes pointing out slightly, place your hands on your hips and make circles with your hips. Try to make those circles as big as you can. Keep your legs straight. back the other way. <laughs> you feel that? <laughs> okay, bringing your feet back together. Knee rotation. So we're going to bend forwards, place our hands over our knees and we're going to make circles with our knees. So we're going to bend our knees, bring them forwards in line with our toes and then straighten up our legs. Okay, and back the other way. Okay, now coming to stand on our tiptoes, we're going to stretch and strengthen our foot and ankle muscles. So inhale, come up onto your tiptoes as tall as you can and try to hold as steady as you can. And then exhale, back down, lift up your toes away from the floor, leaving your foot on the floor. Inhale, come up onto your tiptoes. And down, lift up your toes, one last time, inhale, come up, exhale, down, lift up your toes. And now we're just going to rotate our ankles, so we're going to stand on one foot, so make sure you've got a firm foundation with that foot before you take the other foot off of the floor. Make sure that that foot's facing forward. Spread the toes on your foot so that you can grip the floor. We'll start standing on our, our right foot out in front of us and draw circles with your big toe. Try to make those circles as big as you can. And back the other way. Good, and change feet, standing on your right foot, bring your left foot out in front of you, draw circles with your big toe. And back the other way. Now we're going to come to the top of our mat. We're going to um, do a forward fold and then we're going to walk our feet back into downwards facing dog. So standing with your feet about hip distance apart. Inhale, reach your arms right up. Bend backwards slightly. And now we're going to reach forwards, bending forwards, reaching forward as far as you can with your arms looking forwards and then bringing your hands down to the mat either side of your feet, bending your knees as much as you need to to be able to do that. Let your head hang, your neck relax. Now, keeping your hands on the floor, we're going to walk our feet back so we're in the upwards facing V position of downwards facing dog. Our bottom sticking up in the air, our arms straight, our head down between our arms, 
trying to look up at our belly button, trying to bring our heels down towards the mat as we push up. Yeah, so we're stretching the backs of our legs. And now bring your knees down to the mat. We're going to practice the cat cow stretch. Just going to turn to the side so you can see me. So in tabletop position, your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Spread your fingers on your hands so you've got a stable base. So your knees directly underneath your hips. And if you do have any problems with your wrist, you can move your hands slightly further forward. That will take the direct pressure off of your wrist. Going to inhale and exhale. Come into the cat stretch. Round your back up towards the ceiling. Tuck your head to look underneath at your belly button. Inhale. Look up. Bring your sit bones, your hips up and dip your belly down towards the floor. This is the cow stretch. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. Try to make your movement and your breath coordinate. So your movement lasts the length of your breath. Keep on going at your pace. Okay, and coming back to tabletop position again. Come to sit. On your bottom with your legs straight out in front of you. We're going to practice half butterfly to stretch our hips, our knees and our ankles. So beginning with your right leg, bend your right leg and bring your right foot onto the top of your left thigh. If you find that uh, difficult then you can place the sole of your right foot onto the inside of your left thigh. Either way support your uh, right foot with your left hand, take your right hand place it over your knee and we're just going to inhale lift our knee up, exhale push our knee down towards the floor just gently, inhale up, exhale down going at your pace with your breath and now we're going legs So straighten your right leg, bend your left leg, bringing your left foot either onto the in, um, top of your right thigh or the inside of your right thigh. Support your left foot with your right hand, your left hand on your knee, inhale up, exhale down. Keep on going at your pace with your breath. straighten out your left leg, give your legs a little bit of a shake out, move on side to side. I'm going to finish our basic all over stretch with butterfly pose, bringing the soles of your feet together, your heels towards your perineum, trying to bring your knees down towards the floor, interlock your fingers around your feet and pull yourself upright to sit up as straight as you can. If you find that difficult you can hold on 
around your ankles. Also, again, try to sit up as tall and straight as you can. So we get a stretch in our shoulders, our upper back as well as in our hips. And release. Okay, fabulous. So now hopefully a little bit more stretched than at the beginning of the session. We're going to come up to a standing position now. I think, do you want to go out, Gypsy? I'm going to let Gypsy out of the room. Okay, right, so we're going to start off with a asana which is going to mainly stretch but also strengthen our core. It's a type of forward fold and um, there's a slight difference there. What we're going to do, rather than having our fingertips on the floor either side of our feet, we're going to hold on around our big toe. I'm just going to come closer and show you how we're going to, uh, to hold on. We're going to take our first two fingers and we're going to place them around our big toe like this when we come into the forward fold. And we're going to use that to pull ourselves into the fold. So you're going to need to bend your knees, most probably. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see me. We're going to start off standing with our feet about hip distance apart. We're going to inhale and reach right up, slight back bend. And exhale, reach forwards, 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 bending your knees as much as you need to to take hold of your big toes with your first two fingers. Begin by looking forwards and then exhale. Pull yourself on your toes, by your toes, into the forward fold, let your head Hang your neck, relax. Remember to keep your abdomen, your tummy drawn in so that you can come further into the fold. Every time you exhale, you can see if you can just pull yourself a little bit deeper into the stretch. Now inhale, look forward. To come into a half forward fold, release your fingers away from your toes. We're going to come into a half forward fold when we have a flat back and we're looking forward with our chest pushed forward. So depending on your flexibility, you're probably going to need to have your fingertips to your shin somewhere. So we're going to have our legs straight. That's it. Um, we're going to look forwards, push our chest forwards till we've got a flat back. So you might want to just experiment with where you can come to. Okay, the full expression for poses where we have our fingertips to the floor and we're looking forwards, pushing our chest forwards. But to begin with, we want to have that flat back. We don't want to compromise that. So we want to begin with, have our fingertips to our shins. Even if it's just around our knees, that's fine. As long as you're able to keep that flat back, push your chest forwards and look forwards. We've got a cat wanting a bus now. She thinks that my hands must be down towards the floor for that reason <laughs> only. Okay, right now, inhale, reach up, reach up, light back bend, and exhale, your arms down, good. So let's just stand in Tadasana, mountain pose for a couple of moments, take a few deep breaths. Now 
outside the window. Lovely. Okay, I'm <clears throat> starting to lose my voice. We're now going to practice triangle pose. So if you are on a mat, come to face the side of your mat. I'm going to face towards you so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to come to stand with our feet apart, about three to four feet apart, depending on the flexibility of your hips. Your toes should just be ever so slightly pigeon-toed, ever so slightly turned in. Engage your thigh muscles to hold you steady. We're going to now turn our right foot so that it's facing 90 degrees away from our left foot. So if you're on a mat, it will now be facing towards the top of your mat. Keep your hips facing to the side. Okay, so we're not turning our hips to the front, our hips stay towards the side. We're going to inhale our arms up to shoulder level with our palms facing down to the floor. And now we're going to exhale, lean all the way out to the right side. And now bring your right arm down and your left arm up so that they are in line with one another. And we can just rest our right hand on our right shin. Really reach up with our left fingertips. The important thing is that we don't lean forwards like this, okay? We want, this is a lateral bend, we're leaning to the side. You should feel a good stretch all the way down the side of your body and in your hip. And inhale, come up again. Exhale, lower your arm. Yeah, you can be, yeah, again, you're really strengthening. Also, as well as stretching your core, you're really strengthening your, your leg muscles, which are part of your thigh muscles, are part of your core muscles. Now we're going to turn our right foot to face the side of the mat, and we're going to turn our left foot out to face 90 degrees away from our right foot. Inhale your arms up to shoulder level. Remember, make sure that your hips are facing still to the side. Exhale, reach all the way out to the left and then bring your left arm down, your right arm up. Rest your left hand on your shin with your right fingertips. Reach right up to the ceiling. Remember, lateral bend, don't lean forwards, it's a bend to the side. You should feel an intense stretch all the way down the right side of your body in your right hip. Good, and inhale, come back up, exhale, your arms. <laughs> Okay, the cat wants to go out now, so we're just going to let the cat out. She's out the window. Yeah, oh my gosh, she's yeah. amazing. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, let's just take another few moments just to stand into Dasana, take a few deep breaths. Okay, now next we're going to practice a standing twist. What we're going to do is stand with our feet about hip distance apart. Inhale our arms up to shoulder level with our palms facing down. And now we're going to exhale, twist to the right, bringing our left hand on to our right shoulder and wrapping our right arm around our waist with 
our hand, our ha palm facing out like this. Okay, our lower body should still be facing forwards. We're twisting our upper body to and turning our head to look over our right shoulder. Inhale back to the front, arms back up to shoulder level, and we're going to twist the other way. So exhale to the left, bring your right hand onto your left shoulder, your left arm wrapped around your waist with your palm facing out, keeping your lower body facing forwards. Twist your upper body, turn your head to look at your left shoulder. And inhale back, front, exhale your arm. Good, okay, before we come down to the mat for a few asanas, we're just going to practice a standing back bend. We're going to support our lower back while we do it by placing our hands in the small of our back with our fingers facing down, pointing down towards our bottom. So you can feel that support there. We're going to stand with our feet about hip distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. And we're going to bend backwards, trying to bring our head to look backwards, supporting your lower back with your hand. So we're pushing our pelvis, our thighs forwards and leaning back, really pushing our chest up towards the ceiling. Good, and exhale, release, fabulous. Okay, we're going to come down to the mat and we're gonna take a rest pose in child's pose, either extended or with your arms by your side, whichever you prefer. So coming to begin with, to sit on your heels, your knees slightly apart. Bring your forehead to the mat. You can either have your arms out straight with your palms facing down to the floor or your arms by your side with your palms facing up to the ceiling. Just take some deep breaths. Okay, now placing your palm yourself up to a tabletop position. We're going to start off with puppy pose. So I'm just going to face to the side <laughs> so you can see what I am doing. We're going to keep our hips above our knees. Walk our hands forward. Keeping our arms straight, keeping your arms about shoulder width apart, lower your forehead to the floor. If you struggle to bring your forehead all the way to the floor, you can place a cushion or a pillow or a block if you have one. There we go, so that you can rest your forehead on that pillow or block, okay? You should really feel quite an intense stretch in your shoulders and your upper back. Okay. 
Okay, fabulous. And coming up, back to tabletop position again. So in tabletop position, remember that we have our hands directly underneath our shoulders or slightly further forward if you have problems with your wrists. Your knees should be directly underneath your hips and your feet the same distance apart as your knees. We're going to practice balancing table, which is an excellent core strengthener and also helps to increase flexibility in your core muscles as well. We're going to inhale, we're gonna raise our left arm out in front of us at about shoulder level, and we're going to raise our right leg out behind us at about hip level. So we're doing opposing opposite arm and leg. Don't try to do the same leg, otherwise you're going to fall over. So, are we ready? Inhale, bring your left arm out in front of you, your right arm you. Look forwards. Try to reach forward as much as you can with your left fingertips. Point your right toe, try to bring your right toe back as far as you can. So you're really elongating your body. And exhale down. Good. Excellent, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So with our right arm and our left leg, inhale, raise. Reach right forwards with your right fingertips, point your left toe, try to reach your toe back as far as you can. Looking forwards, really feel all of your core muscles engaging. And exhale down. Very good. Okay, how are we doing for time? Cool. We're going to now practice the fire hydrant pose, which is a good core muscle strengthener, strengthener. And also it's going to help to open up our hips, so stretch our hip muscles. So in tabletop position, what we're going to do is we're going to inhale and our knee, right knee bent at right angles, we're going to bring our right leg out to the side. Now our pelvis should stay in line, so we don't want to do this. Keep our pelvis in line, so it may just be that you lift your leg ever so slightly out to the side. And then exhale back down again. We're going to do five with each leg. So four more now with the right leg. Inhale out to the side. Exhale lower. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale, good. You should really feel your abdominal muscles and your lower back muscles really engaging when you lift your leg out to the side. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the left leg. Inhale, left leg out. I'm just gonna turn to the side to make, you might be able to see what I'm doing better. Inhale, exhale, three more. in a rest pose. It's called crocodile pose. Come and lay on your tummy and bring your arms in front of you and we're going to cross our arms so that our fingertips come to our elbows and we're just going to rest our forehead on our wrist. Your legs should be together by the way. 
Just take some deep breaths. Okay, now we're going to practice Sphinx Pose. So come up onto your forearms, remaining on your belly. Your elbows should be directly underneath your shoulders. And your, arm, your forearms coming forwards so that they are shoulder width apart and parallel with each other. Spread the fingers on your hands, and it's ever so such, a, it's just a small movement. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale, I'm going to look up towards the ceiling and push our chest forwards, and hold. Your lower back muscles are really going to engage, to hold you steady, to hold you in position. And relax. We're going to take that a little bit further. We're going to practice Cobra Pose. So bring, slide your hands back so that your hands are now directly underneath your shoulders, either side of your chest, close into your body. Tuck your elbows in close to your body and keep your shoulders down. We're going to inhale and lift our head so we're bringing it up to look at the ceiling pushing our chest forwards keeping those shoulders down away from your ears keeping your elbows tucked in and relax very good okay now push up onto all fours We are now going to come and lay on our backs, on the mat, we're coming towards the asanas to practice before we come into the relaxation period. So we're going to practice bridge lifts, so we're going to come up into bridge and lower with our breath. So to begin with, bring your Heels close in towards your bottom, but about the width of the mat, so you've got a stable base. Bring your arms by your side with your palms facing the mat. And we're going to inhale, push our hips up towards the ceiling, lifting our bottom off of the floor. Push your hips up as high as you can, so you're coming up onto your shoulders. And then exhale, lower, inhale, raise, try to push your hips up as high as you can, exhale, lower, much as you can. Exhale, lower. We're going to do two more. At the end of the second one, we're just going to hold the position for a little while. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lower. Okay, last one. Inhale, push up. Push up as high as you can. Hold. Feel your all of your core muscles engaging to hold you steady. And exhale. Lower. 
Okay, now keeping your feet where they are, we're going to bring our arms out to the side at about shoulder level with the palms facing down to the floor. And we're going to practice windscreen wiper. Inhale, exhale, lower both of your knees towards the floor on your right side and turn your head to look at your left hand. Inhale back to the center. Exhale both your knees towards the floor on the left side, turning your right head, turning your right head, <laughs> turning your only head to look at your right hand. Inhale back to the center. Exhale both of your knees towards the floor on your right side, turning to look at your left hand. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center, we're going to go once more to each side. Exhale, right, turn your head left. Center, turn your head right as you lower your knees to the floor on the left side. Inhale, center. So now just bring your knees towards your chest, hug your knees in towards your chest, bring your head back down to the mat. If you like, you can rock from side to side, giving your spine a nice massage. And release your hands, bring your feet down to the mat. It's time for relaxation. This is a very important part of yoga. It's not something that we should skip. Okay, it's it's the chance to integrate the effects of our practice. And if you don't do savasana, if you miss savasana, you won't have the same feeling of uh, relaxation at the end of your session. So coming to lay on the floor uh, in corpse pose, savasana. If you want to put uh, socks on, if you want to put any jumpers on, if you want to put any blankets over you to make sure that you're warm, then please do so. You don't want to be cold, then you won't be able to relax. Come to lay with your legs slightly apart, your feet coming towards the corners of the mat your arms out by your side with your palms facing up to the ceiling. Close your eyes. Take some slow, deep breaths. Notice every part of your body that's in contact with the floor. Feel the floor supporting you. Totally relax. Relax your jaw, relax your tongue. Relax your eyes. Completely let go.
Tight journey back to the belly, back to your body. Start to move your fingers and your toes. Bring your together. Reach your arms up overhead and stretch. Keep your eyes closed. Relax your arms, bend your knees. Slowly to the side, again keeping your eyes closed. Going to rest on our side for a few moments. Push yourself slowly and gently up to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed or semi-closed, try not to disturb your relaxed state of mind. Make yourself comfortable, you can sit on the floor or sit on a cushion. Sit cross-legged or sit with your legs out in front of you, however you feel comfortable. Try to sit with a straight back. Close your eyes or have a soft gaze just looking down at the floor in front of you. Have a breath. natural breath. Every time your mind starts to wander, which it will do, just bring your attention back to your breath.
going to end today's session by chanting on three times. I will then chant our closing mantra, Asatoma, which means from ignorance lead me to truth, from darkness lead me to light, from death lead me to immortality. I will then finish with Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, so feel free to join in. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the session today. I hope your core feels strengthened. And I hope that you have a absolutely fabulous day. Um, I am off now to fix myself some lunch and eat that out in the sunshine. We're going to have a barbecue this evening. It's going to be a good day. Oh yeah, and uh, happy Easter to everybody. Um, I hope you have a lovely weekend. Mwah. Okay, take care lovely people. Bye.